Why is he up in his feelings, man? Here we are with another uh, Patreon Level 4 movie demand. This one's from Leon. It's Romeo is bleeding. Yeah. He died of poison, didn't he? Or was it a slam piece that died of poison? I can't remember. Romeo and Juliet's one of those things that I watched a uh, long time ago. And never felt any need to revisit it because it's, you know, plus it's been copied and done at West Side Story, etc. You know, you get it. So I don't remember. I know that, like, both of them thought the other one was dead. No, she was poisoned, but she was faking. So I think he stabbed himself. So Romeo was bleeding. Okay, there we go. Romeo was bleeding. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> this ain't about that. This is a, apparently a crime drama or something. Um, just one little um, programming note before we get started. As I record this, I just finished editing and uploading uh, the other uh, Patreon uh, movie demand for September that I'm belatedly getting to in um, for Leon, and it was uh, it turned out to be 72 minutes long, 72 fucking minutes, but more than that, it's it was over nine and a half gigs, and. See, link this is the only uh, indicator. If I stack two videos on top of each other, in other words, I have the picture in the picture, those video files are bigger than if I was just talking for 72 minutes, just me with no, nothing else on the screen. I've noticed this. Like, over time, I've been like, well, why are these, these two files are the same length? Why are they different sizes? And then that's, that's the only thing I can come up with. That must be what's going on. Plus, I noticed the editor, when it's exporting, it exports faster if it's just one video file. You know, it's just, once it gets to the end where it's just me and there's no more picture picture, the shit, it shoots over to the end really fast. Which makes sense, you know, because it's doing half the amount of processing. But the point is, I got to uh, stop having these things be so long. Because I only get uh, 20 gig per week on, my, on Vimeo, the hosting site. And I'm up to doing uh, three Patreon-exclusive TV sh episodes a week. Each one of those ends up being around three or four gig. So that's 12. This one was nine and a half. And then doing another movie. And most weeks I'm going to be doing two movies. And so um, obviously you can see the math doesn't work out. I'm already up to 12. And I still have to do True Detective and uh, Black Sales for this week before Wednesday, which is the changeover time. You know, Tuesday at midnight, I get my fresh 20 gig. So between now and then, I've got to upload this movie and then two t episodes of TV. So clearly, the math is, is struggling, right? So plus, I haven't been getting any feedback on these movies. Like, not a single person has told me, wow, I really like how long these videos are. Which, when people don't say anything, typically, you know, most of the feedback I get is negative, which means I don't think anybody hates it. Because I think if people hated the link, they would tell me. And so I don't think it's sad, but I, don't, I also don't think anybody loves it. Because nobody said they look, right? So I think they're ambivalent. They don't give a shit either way. So I say they. I mean, you. If you're watching this, then it's you. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> so if, if people are ambivalent, then I can, you know, freely just start shortening these. I'm going to have to shorten them anyway, because it's just, this isn't going to work. Uh, even with the one I mentioned, I had to, I cut it from nine and a half to eight and a half by putting the, the long ass nine minute intro over on YouTube. And this intro is going to be shorter. I just want to bring this up. That when you see this file is shorter, it's, it's, it's intentionally so... Because it's getting ridiculously long and nobody's telling me they love the links, which means probably the sweet spot is probably 40 minutes. That's what my episodes are. And people don't typically hate those. So, yeah. So, uh, if, if you notice that this is file is shorter, it's just I'm making an effort to stop having so many sidebars. Make my intro less long. Make, make my outro less long. And not pause it as much. In fact, my goal for this movie is not to pause it a single time. If I have anything to say, I got to say it within the movie or just don't say it. So hopefully that'll shorten things up and these won't be so fucking long. So anyway, but if you feel one way or another, let me know in the comments. If you hate the link or you love the link or you, if you have a preferred link, let me know what that number is. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get into this shit. 56 grand a year and never made it past sergeant. Jesus and every Christ. Day, you lifted a little of this. Holy shit, man. This looks like Gus Spring has been up in this motherfucker. Hey, hey, wait a minute. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Okay, Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> I guess that was just in case people were getting bored of the narration. I understand. So finally, we take Lou out of the trunk. Sometimes I get the feeling that the mobsters are in the mob for the violence. 
it's really the violence. It's not the money. It's not the women. It's not the, the glamour. It's the violence. You know, like they say, a man don't always do what's best for him. Boy, that's the goddamn truth. Jack. Oh, <laughs> Jack. <laughs> what else did she say? Huh? You fucking Romeo. And we have half Nobody a movie title. me like that. I know it's and come out too good. Man, she sprayed the place. If you hadn't known, you'd think it would See, now this may make him feel guilty. So, so, so you make me a cop killer. Man, you know what this was. I know he must have been rationalized to himself. Oh, don't wait till they get to the car. It'll be a clean hit. Come on, man. You knew what this was. Nobody else gets hurt this time, huh? Yeah, right, motherfucker. And hand her ass over to the feds. Oh, shit. Don't catch feelings, motherfucker. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try, motherfucker. Federal agent, Cajun Scorus. Oh, shit. Well, I guess that about says it all, don't it? Pretty much. You could hear a laugh. He's on some Keystone Cop shit, man. That was Gun Safe back in the 90s, by the way. Top of the fridge. Maybe the kids can't reach it, you know. By the way, the implication here, of course, they reminded me of this book. He's hiding out somewhere in, like, Arizona or somewhere, yeah. Probably a witness protection. Maybe not, though. Some The smallest town he can find out there, right? Definitely away from this life. Which means she's probably dead. He didn't think about those feds lying there. Most of all. I will say this. I've been kind of hard on him. But, um... Uh, let me pause this shit. I gotta walk around for my hip. So this, but this will be a very quick pause. Um... He, if he has that many uh, payouts, he's given up that many witnesses, and this feels like the first time the feds ever got killed, like the the, the guard guards ever got killed, then I'm being too hard on him. I'm talking about you know what this was, etc. right? But if you've done this 15, 20 times, and nobody ever get, nobody ever got killed, but the there was never any collateral damage, and this time there was collateral damage, I get why he's, he's pissed. That makes sense. So... I wasn't really thinking about it. Like, this was a long-term thing, so. Hey! hey, man, the neighbor's trying to sleep, asshole. He should be in a rest home, not a threesome. Shit. The only threesome I ever get is when I order the two-for-one Big Macs. <laughs> How much pussy does one guy need, by the way? I wondered about this with Don Draper, too. Do me a favor. You check the book? Any new ones last night? Yeah, 17 uh, FBI agents. Homicide? Uh, so far, boss. Anything else? I think this time they wanted her location so they could break her out and not kill her. Which means he's fucked. This can't be good news. The fuck you want? I think they could try to fuck with him, you know? After all this time? Come on, man. I guess because there was a, it got messy last time. They think he's fucking with him. That actually makes sense. The old man, he thinks you're trying to hold out a Come on, say you gotta give me something. Yeah, that's right. Get loud, the motherfucker. What you looking at? Yeah. <laughs> Discretion's not his middle name. Hit on me, Jackie, huh? Now, this is a long walk. If I take it, you take it too. Well, you're going to take it because you're fucking shouting at him. I assume that's the police station right across the street, right? Indiscreet ass motherfucker. It makes sense, though. Some shit happened last time. He's upset about it. And then, now all of a sudden, for the first time, the address is wrong. I mean, it don't look good. I get, I get where they're coming from. It don't look good. They think it's some passive-aggressive bullshit, right? But here's the thing, man. If you, you keep getting fucking safe houses getting hit... In this particular town, where this motherfucker's got jurisdiction, then you would start suspecting local cops, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. There's been enough hits.
Life's hard when you're stupid. She turned around and she pointed my own gun at me, Jack, you know, like some kind of an animal. Does that happen to animals very often? You know, getting their own gun pointed at them? Yeah, if I was a fed working this town, yeah, my witnesses keep getting hit. The local police would not know a goddamn thing. I'm right there with them, man. Dude, you are fucked. She's coming for everybody. If he's thinking about returning the money, which I think he is, sorry, man, I can't do it this time. They're going to kill you. Oh, yeah, you're busted. Out there in the rain, looking sus as hell. He's going to come back, the money's going to be on the table. He's going to be like, what's up, motherfucker? I want Lona to I've never seen him play a bad guy, ever, man. I want you to find That's her. That's fantastic. And I want you to kill her. This is what they call affably evil, right? Now he's about to base on this motherfucker. You know right from wrong. You just don't care. This is why I don't have any sympathy for him. And that's the most natural thing in the world. He likes people that fits his shitty worldview, by the way. Falcon. We've said everything that needs to be said, haven't we? Good day. I like him evil, man. I like him evil a lot. Now what? I think she's going to come to him. So he don't even have to worry about it. Where are you? Your house? You to kill me. You've got till Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. My money is not good. Your money's got more risk. I mean, he ain't shot her yet. Sealed with a kiss, you Judas ass motherfucker. Voice in his head. The wrong voice. It sucked his brain out. Spit it on the floor. Been there, done that. <laughs> he could take the money from the hole and he could take this payout and just fuck off somewhere, right? That's what I would do. We went to the Rialto and saw the sound of music and you cried. Oh, shit. Really, dude? I don't mind men crying, but why the fuck are you crying for that, you know? You get tired of sex. Love doesn't last. Yeah, everybody's a nihilist. I don't know what you're doing, Jack, but whatever it is, don't bring it back here. I mean, he's betrayed her so many different ways it's hard to count, you know? They know how to motivate him. I forgot to tell him that. Goddamn. He's $350,000. So that's um, five jobs, I think. I love you anyway, Jackie. <laughs> I love you even though you're a piece of shit. <laughs> I'll do anything. Except uh, not cheat on you. Look at this motherfucker. I'll do anything. I love you. He's here with this slam piece. <laughs> I just don't understand, man. Meanwhile, she's been living her best life this whole movie. <laughs> this dude's life is going to shit. You have been in love. Look, you got to start giving me back money if we're going to have this conversation. I didn't see this coming. She seemed like a straight shooter, which, you know... She's crazy, so I guess I was wrong. And I'm just as naive as this dumbass. Well, she ain't living her best life anymore. This is why you don't sit in the car with him after you get your paid, motherfucker. You know, I'd be a lot more impressed with this son of a bitch if he wasn't completely fucking incompetent. <laughs> He leaves a gun within reach of her. Like, are you, dude, are you serious? Dude, this solves all your problems, man. Kill her ass. Although, I think Falcone's going to get rid of him no matter what happens, right? Once he takes a toe, he's guaranteed this only ends one way, right? So, I guess it don't matter what he does now. He's got to run either way. I'm surprised. He, I'm honestly surprised he even remembered to get his gun. That's how incompetent this dumbass is. <laughs> hey, at least she's enjoyed life, right? I guess, like, stopping it while she was choking you out, like, that was just out of the question. Yeah, <laughs> this bitch is a survivor, man. She even knows to grab the money and the fucking paperwork. You gotta be shitting me. See, this is what competence looks like, right? Like, I know it's hard to recognize when we're surrounded by idiots, but this is what competence looks like. She gets shit done. 
She is one cra crazy ass bitch, man. Crazy. Get him to do it and use her body to cover your ass. And fake your death, right? He could use some Tylenol, I bet. I just realized the genius of cutting off one of his toes. It makes him harder to run away from you. That's actually brilliant. Well, nothing to do but die. Well, his dream turned out to be true. For the most part. You miss me, sweetheart. Um, no. Don't worry, Jack. I'm not angry at you. You'll let me go. She didn't say that. I didn't say that. I mean, that was obvious. He's about to fuck you up, son. <laughs> well, that's just gratuitous, man. You know, fuck up the drinks. I guess you'll never forget the first time. That would be almost sweet if you weren't so fucking psychotic. Let's get who out. Yeah, the person is supposed to be you, dumbass. Excellent. This is even better than I thought. <laughs> right there, dig, dig. This is kind of open, you know. I mean, I'm a little nervous. Don't ask me to kill him. I don't want you to kill him. I just want you to bury him. If he dies in the process, that's his problem. You're mean. <laughs> Dude, you better start digging. Right now. You walk away free, man. You better start digging, motherfucker. I mean... I mean, you knew what this was. This time, I could say that with certainty. She's fucking crazy. Or you can dig too. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, it'd be like, how deep? You know, here's the thing. This guy's pretty moral, considering, you know, for the kind of movies that we watch, right? He ain't trying to kill anybody, right? And it really did bother him that the FBI just were dying. And I guess uh, he rationalized giving up the mobster people that were in witness protection because they were mobster scumbags, right? That's how he rationalized it. But he truly is not a killer. Like, that's very interesting to me. Even when he shot that, what he thought was uh, Mona, that was pretty much self-defense. Get her before she gets you, that kind of situation, right? I have to say, he's been pretty consistent about not wanting to kill people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's more outraged by that by than anything else. I like how she had to train the gun on him for him to start burying this motherfucker alive, right? Every second with her, you're risking your life. Like, that's how I see it. But, of course, turning her down can also be risking your life, so, you know. Oh, she meant literally a dance. I was thinking the other thing. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I guess he was never making out of here if he tried to leave right there, right there. He's telling everything. Assuming he survives. I'm still not convinced he will survive. Like they say, never underestimate the value of the <laughs> <laughs> Don't get mad. Why is he up in this field, is best? This is doggy dog out here. I never liked you, Jack. Oh shit! Not even when I screwed you, you poor stupid. Damn man, why did it have to be like this? Me sick. You crazy. Oh, she's playing to the crowd. I get it. Lied. You never got to me, not for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dry fuck, Jack. Dry that's fuck. Damn, that's really low. <laughs> nice of them to let them have this long conversation with each other. Two wit material witnesses, right? <laughs> <laughs> She really does love her job. I mean, you gotta laugh, right? You gotta laugh. Oh, shit. Really? I mean, they can't even charge him. That dude was stupid enough to let him grab his gun, and they're all standing around with their thumbs up their asses. I'm not talking about legal. I'm just talking about... It makes you look really bad. That's all I'm saying. 
Yep. Shit just shot her 17 times, motherfucker. Hey, man, anybody else got a gun? One of extraordinary heroism. Saving the lives of other... Exactly. They were, they were not going to let their incompetence get out there. Waiting for the same guest of honor to show. Ain't going to happen, motherfucker. One of the things I really, really liked about this is one of the more subtle things. Not too subtle. I mean, I don't think anybody would miss this. But I just really like this. The fact that he said at the beginning, Jack comes twice a year. He comes on May 1st and December 1st, right? And obviously what he means by that is like the other 363 days of the year, he's this new assumed personality, right? But twice a year, he lets the old him come out. So, you know, Jack comes twice a year, right? And the funny thing was, I was unclear at first until we wrapped back around to him that... The person we saw at the beginning was Jack. Because um, Gary Oldman looks really young here. It was just hard to tell. So when we came back around, I was like, oh, okay, I get what they're doing. And plus the fact that you speak about somebody comes in and tells him a story and shit, right? Like, which is what's happening, but also is like, you know, not the way we think it's happening, right? So um, I, I'm just saying, I really like how they did that. Like, there's so many artistic touches with this film. That I really like. The other thing I really like is that uh, Mona was an excellently crafted character. Because she was terrifying. She was hilarious. She was sexy. And I literally never knew what the hell she was going to do. I, from moment to moment, I couldn't figure her out. I figure out what the hell she was doing, right? And that's like chaos. Like, you know, you talk about like with the Dungeons and Dragons. Chaotic good, chaotic neutral, and chaotic evil, right? She would be chaotic evil, right? <laughs> but you just literally never know what the fuck she's going to do from moment to moment. And it's pretty rare as a writer that a character can keep me on my toes like that and just keep me nervous the whole fucking time. But she definitely pulled... Like, the writing pulled it off and the actress pulled it off. I've never seen her in anything. Never heard of her. Her name is Olin some shit, right? Never heard, but she was fucking amazing in this. So, another great pick by Leon. 